on. Hi there. I got a great question the other day about what causes the seasons. You know, why is it hot in the summer and cold in the winter and maybe just right in the spring and the fall? Well, stick with me for the next few minutes and we'll try to figure it out. So some of you might have heard that the Earth is closer to the Sun at some points in the year and farther away at other points in the year. And that's true. And some of you might also think that it would make a lot of sense if the Earth was closer to the Sun in the summer because it's hotter and farther away from the Sun in the winter because it's cooler. But surprisingly, that's not right. So let's see if we can figure out what causes us to be warmer in the summer and cooler in the winter. Okay, so to help us figure this out, I need some models because, let's face it, we're not going into outer space to take a look at this stuff. Can you guess what this is? That's right, it's the sun. And over here, I have the Earth. Now, let's take a real close look at the Earth. Do you see how it's tilted? Well, the Earth rotates around what we call an axis. And it rotates just like this. It takes one day for the Earth to go all the way around. And you might be able to see this blue line. That's called the equator. And as I rotate the Earth, you see that the equator doesn't really move. It stays tilted. That's really important. So now let's take a look at the sun shining on the Earth. Now, in real life, the sun would be much, much bigger than the Earth. And the Earth would be much, much farther away. But for this, I think it can show us something. Do you see the light from the sun is striking the Earth? And so if I rotate the Earth, do you see that the light is always shining on the top half of the Earth? In other words, the light coming from the sun is always shining right about here. It's always on the top half of the Earth. We call that the Northern Hemisphere. And it's going to be summer on the top half of the Earth in the Northern Hemisphere. As the Earth spins day after day after day, it starts to slowly to move around the Sun, but the light is all concentrated up on the northern part. And so, it's summer. But what about the bottom part? The bottom part's called the southern hemisphere. And, you might have guessed it, if it's summer up here, it's winter down here. Do you see the light that's striking the northern hemisphere? Well, not as much of it is down on the bottom, on the southern hemisphere. So it's summer up here on the northern hemisphere. But we talked about this Earth moving around once, and that's a day. And it takes one full year for the Earth to go all the way around the sun and back again. But let's just fast forward six months. Now take a look at the equator when we do this. Do you see how it's tilted? And it's going to stay tilted in the same direction, the same direction, as we bring it around. And now, do you notice that the light from the sun is now shining on the bottom part of the Earth, or the southern hemisphere? Six months ago, it was shining on the northern hemisphere, but now it's on the southern hemisphere. So what do you think is happening in the south? If the Earth moves around in a day, do you see that the light is always shining down here on the south? Now it's summer down here. What do you think is happening up here, where we live, in the Northern Hemisphere? Well, if the sun is shining down here all day, it's not shining up here as much. And it's winter. So you might be wondering, what happens during the spring and the fall? You know, when it's not too hot and not too cold. Well, if we take a look at the Earth, notice here that this must be summer in the Northern Hemisphere because the top part of the Earth is being directed into the light. And if I spin this over and we pretend it's six months later, over here, the southern hemisphere has most of the light. But the spring and the fall happens right in between. And so if I tilt the Earth just like this, we might be able to see that the equator cuts right across the path of light. And so some of the light from the sun is shining on the top 
the northern hemisphere, and some of the light from the sun is shining on the bottom, the southern hemisphere. And so it gets split up between the two. And that may be why it's just right for most of us. Not too hot, not too cold. Can you use all of this and figure out why maybe we have longer days in the summer and shorter days in the winter? You keep working on that. See you later. Anybody know how to shut this thing off? <laughs>